Okay, so I'm back out this morning and uh, what's better than uh, what's better than one video? Two videos. So I'm um, gonna be meeting uh, uh, Michael and Araya again today. They're uh, coming out this morning. We just uh, we all had sort of limited time to paint. We have to leave by a certain time, so we wanted to come out at the crack of dawn and uh, catch. Uh, what's happening here and man, we just came to the same spot it's just totally amazing but uh, not sure where we're gonna set up today but uh, we'll take a look around see what we can find and I'm sure it'll be it'll be awesome whatever it is all right so the Sun is up and uh, I've got a I'm all set up here got a sketch going um, Michael has been walking around in circles over here trying to figure out where he's going to paint now it looks like he's going to move so um i lost track of araya he's over in this area somewhere but uh anyway i will uh get uh painting here i've got a sketch going this is what i'm looking at right here mainly these these two trees with the uh uh, right here in the foreground um, and then uh, kind of picking up the mountains in the background this is my my sketch so yeah I'll get uh, I'll get set up here get some paint uh, going and let's uh, see let's see how this goes today I was not dissatisfied yesterday so um, obviously the uh, Sun is really low so the light is going to change in a hurry so whatever I decide up front here I'm gonna to have to stick to it as far as uh, shadows and things so uh, all right let's uh, let's do it and I don't really know why I'm whispering because I'm out in the middle of a desert and there's no one around except for Michael and, and Araya so anyway um, here we uh, here we go
Those are, uh, I like the way you start with those purples. Yeah, they they do help. And then when I come in, hopefully when I come in with the highlights, it's gonna, you know, I'm thinking that with the trees too. There's a lot of, if I squint at this, there's a lot of lighter value around the edges. So I'm, you know, the, the edges of the, um, whatever those bristles are. Yeah. So when maybe when those go in, I had to make the sky dark enough so that those would pop. So I feel like might, if I just get one area that actually works, then it will be a success. <laughs> you know? Can you tell me about your palette? Like uh, uh, what yeah, colors? colors? Yeah, what colors? Do yeah, you have there? my basic palette is uh, let's see, I've got um, ultramarine, dioxazine, purple. There's alizarin crimson, and then also um, permanent rose when I need it to be permanent. Um, this is cad red light, burnt sienna, yellow ochre, um, cadmium yellow medium, titanium white, and cad yellow lemon. This is uh, Naples yellow light. Don't use it very much, but it's on there, and it doesn't. It actually stays wet for a long time, so oh. I just leave it. But that's it, yeah, and that's... I do have some burnt umber that I don't really use very much. I just thought I might use it out here in the desert. And then this right here is um, phthalo blue for, okay. to mix, to make, you can see that color there, to make sky colors. So, yeah, that's it. Pretty simple. And then, of course, yeah, using liquin as my medium. Yeah, I've never tried liquin. I use a stand oil and turpentine mixture. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. This dries... Liquin. It dries really quickly, so it's cool. That's Especially cool. out here.
Okay, so I'm I'm uh, wrapping up here. I've uh, I am actually out of time, but uh, um, no big deal. I got pretty far and got things developed kind of how I wanted to, and uh, there were uh, um, most happy with uh, with how I dealt with the mountains. So um, yesterday I wasn't feeling as good about that, but today I feel much better. So that's good news and. Anyway, um, thanks so much for hanging out with me, and um, as always, I really do appreciate um, you checking out my channel, following along, and if you're not a subscriber, I invite you to hit the subscribe button and the little bell so you don't miss anything, and as always, I'll catch you later.